Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at a most curious cooperative game. This is Paint the Roses. Now, I want to point out that this is a deluxe edition, which implies that there is a standard edition, but we are looking at the deluxe edition coming from North Star Games Studios. Two to five players in about an hour. All right. Well, there's no description on the back. There is some uh, lovely artwork. So let's take a look inside the box and see if we can get a better sense for what the game is about. We know it's cooperative. It says that right on the front cover. We can see some very impressive game tray inserts here um, and some impressive looking pieces as well. But I'll save that for a moment. All right, so obviously, and I say obviously, but maybe it isn't obvious, this is based in thematically in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Um, they have a little excerpt from it there. And so they first give you a section where they talk about the different components in the game. And they've got the objective. Players work together to finish the royal garden while deciphering the ever-changing preferences of the queen. Every player has a hidden whim card representing the queen's preferences. All right, so they've got the setup for the game here. And here's how to play. If you have the greenhouse, it's your turn. You're going to go through these phases in order. First, you'll place a tile. Then you'll place clue tokens. Then you'll guess a whim card. Then you'll move the queen. And finally, you will replenish. And they go through all of the different phases in more detail. All right. And it looks like the queen's going to move different speeds depending upon the tokens that are underneath it. All right. And then they say the, the game, you and your teammates win if the royal garden is filled without the gardeners being caught by the queen. All right. There are some two-player rules. There's an expert variation. They talk about whim cards and about note-taking. And there's also an FAQ here, which is always nice. And there's a player aid on the back. All right, so let's take a look. Again, some pretty impressive-looking components. Here's our game trays insert. And you can see different cubes. I'm not going to necessarily spend a lot of time on those. Let's just show off these tiles. That's pretty nice. Now again, this is the deluxe edition of the game. I'm going to assume that the standard edition, these would be cardboard. I don't know that for sure. That is my strong suspicion. Okay, so you can see the different suits here. Here you can see the pieces that are going to be determining the speed of the queen, which is right here. All right. So it looks like the queen can sit on top of that marker, and then these markers can stack on top of each other like so, I'm assuming. All right. And we've also got some other characters that may be familiar to you if you are familiar with Alice in Wonderland. All right, again, I am going to assume that these miniatures are not included in the standard edition of the game. But that is an assumption. I don't know that for sure. All right. We've got our Queen's Royal Log, which is a score log for the different player counts. We've got Escape the Castle, which is a different, looks like a different mode for the game. So apparently, again, I don't know if this is a, uh, if this is expansions or if this is exclusive uh, to maybe a Kickstarter thing, but it looks like these are different versions of the game that were designed by different people. All right. Some of these names are quite familiar to me, uh, designers of other games, for example. All right, here's our main board here. Wow, the component quality is pretty impressive. This is a dual layer board. Um, so you can see those slot in there very nicely. Okay, which is lovely if you are a fan of that, which I am. I do like dual, and this is a very thick board too. We've got more of these acrylic tiles in here. We've got these very large cardboard keys. 
the yeah, the, the uh, production quality is very high here. Got our drawstring bag, a number of different cards. Let's take a look at some so we can get a sense for the art style. Here's the Queen of Hearts. So it looks like the same art on each card, but some different text, some different abilities. All right. But you've got this for a number of different characters here. I'm not going to go through all of these cards, but you can get an idea. The White Rabbit. All right, so a deck of cards like this for all of the different characters in the game. And then we've got more dual layer uh, spots here. You can pop those right in there. And we've got more thick cardboard tokens here, the Drink Me tokens. We've got different difficulty level cards here. These are the hard cards, color to color, shape to shape, color to shape. It says that on the back of all of these. Very easy to read these. They're just simply a couple of different pictures, okay? But again, these are placed by difficulty. You've got easy, medium, and hard. They're all kind of variations on a theme there, so I don't feel like we need to go through all of those. And it looks like we also have some sheets, perhaps to draw, to take notes on. Our hard, medium, placement order. Okay, so this is a game where I still really don't feel like I've got a strong sense for how the game plays, what it's about, but I don't know that it, I should because I haven't <laughs> really read the rules yet. We've just taken a little bit of a glance, but I will say the component quality on this is pretty impressive looking at first glance. Let's hope that the gameplay matches up with it. That is Paint the Roses. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing!